Today we have an amazing product announcement, being the 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection 2. And it releases on May 23rd, 2024. So, realistically, we had legend we had 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection, which we all saw that was going to be coming out at the end of the year. This one's going to be a mid-year release, and honestly, is really, really fun. Because this is a set that players have been wanting for years, and when I saw the set code of RA01, we're probably going to be getting a second one, so this is probably RA02. Now... This is a build off of the last one, but this time there will be no duplicates from the last. And let's talk about this. So they've cut the packaging and they've cut a few other things, but they're giving us more cards per pack. They're going from the one secret, two ultra, three super to the two secret, four ultra and three super rare. Now, since this is in May, it's right before when Nationals is going to take place, most likely in July. And let's go over what there is. Now, they're doing this because now we have twice the amount of chances because we can get a total of six rarity, luxury rarities in a pack, which is super crazy to think about. Now, let's look at the reprints right here because we have all cards from all cards are different from the last rarity collection so everything from the original 80 will not be in here which i really do like that move <clears throat> so first off we have hard to find tournament powerhouses like axis go talker and magician souls these two cards are always cards that need reprints and finally, getting a budget access code talker is very great, and Magician Souls for everyone is really good. This pairs very well with the 2023 Megatons with Illusion of Chaos's reprint, so if you held on to those, now is your chance in May to get the rest. We have two long-awaited reprinted cards from... I th it was like... Duelist Pack Millennium? And we have Silent Swordsman and Silent Magician. These two cards go hand in hand with the Legacy of Destruction Gandora stuff. So this is a little tie in with that. And we also have more hand traps being Droll Lockbird, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill, and Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. So they're literally taking the collector side of hand traps and just giving them the middle finger. And after that, we're going to be looking at the interstellar field spells from the Visa Starfrost lore, being Reichphobia, Perlino, Raysoth, and Calrillium. These four field spells have not received a reprint. Well, that's why Reichphobia has a reprint in the Megatons, but three of them have not. And seeing these reprinted in Luxury Rarities is going to be super nice because they all deserve the QCR rarity with a few other cards. Now we have varied artworks. We've seen it with Eldritch and another card from Rarity Collection, which I cannot remember for the life of me. We are getting varied artworks of IP Mascarena, Rescue Cat, and Appaloosa Bow the Goddess. These four were in Gold Rare. They reprinted, I believe, none of these out of Gold Rare. So seeing these finally getting moved out of the gold rare slot, kind of nice to see because I feel like gold rare was one of those rarities that was very cool at first, and then as they improved on it and changed it, it kind of fell off. But outside of that, dozens and dozens more reprints are going to be in here. We don't know the exact amount of cards, but I would say about 80. If not, they can bump it up more to like 100 cards in here because we're getting more cards per pack, but that's one thing that we'll have to wait and see. But tell me what you guys think on the 25th Rarity Collection 2. Because I really like this step where... Let's make Rarity Collection 1, base 80. And when we make Rarity Collection 2, it's going to be different from the base 80. Plus, we get to reprint cards that 
are just oh cool they need these they need these or they this needs a reprint so we could probably see some other cards slide slip into here because the furthest out card that we have is Darkwing Blast, which is about a going on a year and a few months. But I want to know what you guys think about Rarity Collection too. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video and goodbye.